Vision Forward's In Focus team presents. Hi, I'm Corey Ballard. Welcome back to another Tech Talk. Today's Tech Talk, we are going to be looking at two different options for accessing audiobooks on your Amazon Echo device. Before we get started on today's video, I'd love for you to go and check out our YouTube channel youtube.com slash in focus technology make sure you subscribe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos we surely would appreciate it and if you have any questions or comments go ahead and use the comments on this video as well too so we are looking at accessing audiobooks with your amazon echo now when you start to lose your vision, uh, accessing print, either books or newspapers, can become very difficult. And audiobooks are a great solution. And I wanted to focus on a couple different solutions for using your Amazon Echo in order to access those audiobooks. Now, we're going to be focusing on two solutions today, the Kindle and the uh, service from Audible. Both of these services are owned by Amazon. Now, what that means is that it is very simple to access your Kindle and your Audible books via your Amazon Echo. There are other solutions out there that you can look into. They do require a little bit more setup and they're more complicated. A quick Google search will show you some other, uh, some other resources, but today we're gonna be focusing on uh, two options that are very simple. So first, let's take a look at Kindle. You may be familiar with Kindle books. These are typically eBooks or text-based books. They can be purchased directly from the Amazon store. Once you have purchased your Kindle book, it is then uh, accessible via your Amazon Echo device. And it doesn't matter which device you have, if it's the standard uh, Amazon Echo, if it's the Dot, or what we have today on the table, the Echo Show, the one with the screen, doesn't matter. All of them are going to work the same. So once that book has been purchased, it's in your library, and we can simply ask our device to play the book for us. Alexa, play Pride and Prejudice from Kindle. Resuming your book. To improve accessibility, I am now reading Pride and Prejudice. Within a short walk of Longbourn lived a family with whom the Bennets were particularly intimate. Sir William Lucas had been formerly in trade in Maritime. Alexa, pause. So because it is a Kindle book, a text-based book, we are getting the... Uh, uh, Amazon Echo Voice is doing the reading. We do have some options for controlling the book. We can jump ahead by a certain amount of seconds. We can jump by chapter simply by giving the command. Alexa, start. Chapter five. Within a short walk of Longbourn lived a family with whom the Bennets were particularly intimate. Sir William Alexa, had been... next chapter. Chapter six. The ladies of Longbourn soon waited on those of Netherfield. The visit was Alexa, soon returned. Alexa, So not only can we use our voice to start and stop the book, but we can also use it for navigation within the book. So as you can see, it's very simple to access your Kindle library right from your Amazon Echo device. Again, you do need to purchase that from the Amazon store, but once you've purchased it, it's in your library and can be accessed. It saves your place, and it also saves your place across devices. So let's say, for example, you have an Amazon Echo in the kitchen, you've got one in your bedroom, and you're low vision and you use a Kindle e-reader. Whatever device you access that Kindle book on and listen to or read, if it's the e-reader, if you stop it and move to another device, it will resume exactly where it left off. So it doesn't matter what device you listen or read on, it'll keep your place across your book, no matter which device you access it from. So that's Kindle. Now let's take a look at audiobooks. If you're someone like myself, I just have never really gotten used to listening to text-to-speech voices read books to me. They're fine when you're doing a textbook or something like that, but when you're reading for entertainment or enjoyment, 
I really like human narration. That's really my uh, preferred way to access books. So if you're like me, you might want to look at what are some options for human narrated books. And that's where Audible comes in. Audible is an audiobook service. It's, uh, it's been around for a number of years, been purchased by Amazon. They own it as well. And that means the integration into the Amazon Echo um, ecosystem is very easy for you to uh, make it very easy for you to access the books. Again, you're going to want to purchase your Audible books directly from the website. If you've got an Audible subscription, that means you can get a free book uh, a month or two a month, depending on what your subscription is. Once you've chosen your book and you've added it to your library, again, we can use our Amazon Echo to access that book. And again, we're just going to ask it to read it and give it a specific title. Alexa, read Ready Player One. Resuming Ready Player One. This is Audible. Random House Audio presents Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. Read for you by Will Wheaton. Alexa, pause. Just like with the Kindle, with Audible, we can also use our voice to play and pause and navigate by chapter or by time. Alexa, play. Everyone my age remember- Alexa, next chapter. Chapter five. After lunch, I headed to my favorite class. Alexa, stop. And so again, we can use our voice to move around that book as needed. And again, it will carry over and save your space, uh, save your spot, depending on which device you're listening to. Now, this was a, an example of an audio book that's really kind of a simple narrated book. It's a human narrator reading the book front to back. They also, Audible provides some other uh, audio books that have some more production, some sound effects, and uh, other things that make that audio experience a little bit more entertaining. Let's take a look at uh, another title in my library. Alexa, read Grown Up Guide to Dinosaurs. Resuming a Grown Up Guide to Dinosaurs. Let's set the scene. It's 201 million years ago. Alexa, next chapter. I'm looking up at three actual dinosaurs. I can remember as a kid. Alexa, stop. So as you can hear, they've added extra sound effects and music to really kind of make that audio book kind of a full featured, um, almost a, a kind of a radio theater. Uh, and it really is, it, it adds to the experience. Again, we can use our voice to navigate around through chapter or by time uh, and, and making, making moving around that book really simple. Thanks for joining us on another Tech Talk. We do uh, the, the, these Tech Talks every Friday, but Luke and I also do a live version of these. We typically do them two Thursdays a month. Um, if you enjoy these videos, trust me, you'll enjoy watching us do them live. We do provide ACVREP credits for them, and we do provide uh, pr pr uh, professional webinars as well. For more information on the credits and our webinars, take a look at vision-forward.org slash webinars for all the details. If you have any questions about this technology or any technology, feel free to contact us in three different ways. Give us a call at 414-615-0103. You can email us at infocus at vision-forward.org or check out our website at vision-forward.org. Thanks and stay tuned.